I am Adil Kumar sharing with you a very important question which relates area of hexagon with its side length. This question can be very important for the students who are appearing for SAT. And you may have to do it without calculator. Remember that. That is possible, right? So, so be, be prepared for that. I will teach you a method of doing it so that you could easily take up such challenges. The question here is, if area of a regular hexagon is 180 square root 3 centimeter square, what is square of its side length? Four options are given to you. So let us try to understand the question and then we'll solve this in around a minute. Okay. So hexagon is a shape which has six sides. And when we say regular, it means all six are of equal length, right? So all six are equal length think this to be a regular hexagon. As you can see, this hexagon can be divided into, if you just join these corners, vertices, what do you get? You get six equilateral triangles, right? This is what you get. So a hexagon will have six triangles and all are equilateral, right? So there are, they are six equilateral triangles. Now, when you have equilateral triangles, then you know these angles are 60 degrees. And if I kind of, uh, let me show you this triangle kind of like this, half of this. Then we have a special triangle here, right? So we do have a special triangle here, which we call as, this is an enlarged view of this special triangle, right? So this special triangle is 30, 60, 90. It is very important to remember this part. The ratio of the sides are 1, 2 and square root 3. So that is the ratio of the sides. So if I say x, then it'll be x, 2x, square root 3x. That's the whole idea. So let's understand this, how to solve, and then we will really solve it, right? So in our case, we want to find area of each triangle. Once you find triangle area, you can find the side length. And then the question is, what is square of side length, right? So we have to find square of the side length as the answer, not just the side length. So remember that part, right? Okay, so first thing which we understand is that area of hexagon is 180 square root 3. So what is the area of a triangle? So we can say area of a triangle is equals to one sixth of 180 square root 3. Is that okay? So 18 divided by 6 is 3, so it is 30 square root 3. So 30 square root 3 is area of one triangle. Now, as you know, triangle area is half of base. Now, since you see this ratio is like 1 is to 2 times 3x, so we are talking about half this this portion do you see that this portion ratio right so what we will do is we'll take the length as 2x let 2x be the length of each side 2x in that case for the triangle the side will be x i hope you understand right so we are just finding uh, half of this okay we could do uh, Okay, we could do 2x, let's do this. So each side is 2x, but think about this triangle like this. If x is this side, 2x is this side total, right? This is 2x, is that okay? So half is 2x. So that height will be square root 3 times x, is that okay? So this height will be square root 3 times x. Correct? So area of this big triangle is how much? area of the big triangle will be half of the base which is x here and x there 2x right we have seen 2x as the height so half of 2x times height which is square root 3x so this much is equals to 30 square root 3 since that is the area of each triangle here right so this you could simplify square root 3 square root 3 will cancel Correct? 
and then what do you get? 2 and 2 also get cancels. This 2 over 2 gets cancelled. So we get x square equals to 30. So we get x square equals to 30, right? What do we need to find? We need to find square of side length. What is square of side length? Side length is 2x. We need to find what is 2x whole square, which is 4 times x square, right? So that would be 4 times 30. Do you see that? 4 times 30 or 120. So the correct answer is C. And that is how you get it. So I hope this concept is clear to you. So let's try to understand the method once again. You are given area of a regular hexagon. So area of each triangle will be one sixth of this area, which is 30 square root 3. Individually, if side length is 2x, then the height of this triangle will be square root 3x and the area will be half base of 2x, x plus x, correct? times height which is square root 3x. That area is known to us as 30 square root 3. So from here you can solve for x square which is 30. We need square of the side length, right? So kind of, you make a square here, area of that square, right? Area of the side length, square. 2x whole square is 4 times x square. So multiply 30 by 4 to get your right answer and that is how you should be doing it. I hope the steps are clear to you. Try to do it once again. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.